everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Carol and I'm a freelance lifestyle journalist who also runs AlmostDiplomatic.com. It's where I share about my life as a millennial diplomat's wife, the good life on a budget, and currently living in and traveling from Berlin. For today's video, as promised, we're going to be talking about beauty. And I know I used to make a lot of beauty content back when we were still living in Kuala Lumpur. However, when we relaunched Almost Diplomatic here in Berlin last year, it kind of took a back seat because I wanted to be able to show you other aspects of my life as well, like a part of me that loves to travel and a part of me that, you know, is a diplomat's wife. So I wanted to share more of that with you here on this YouTube channel. Of course, I don't want to leave beauty behind as well because beauty is also a big interest of mine. So without further ado, today we're gonna be talking about some of the products that I have been reaching for the most for the past couple of months or so, from makeup to skincare. All right, so let's begin with skincare, cleansers in particular. First up is this oil cleanser from Korean brand Hand Skin, and this is called Cleansing Oil and Blackhead. That's it. So the name doesn't really make any sense grammar-wise, however, this cleanser is just amazing. It contains PHAs, or polyhydroxy acids, which are like the cousins of your usual AHAs and BHAs. So a chemical exfoliant with your oil cleanser really makes sure that it gets all the gunk out of your pores. And thanks to my friend Karen for bringing this to Berlin because she recently visited Korea. Thank you for being my skincare mule. Next up for cleansers, this is the CeraVe Gel Moisson Cleanser and I would usually use this after the hand skin oil cleanser. This is to make sure that I take the oil out because my skin doesn't respond well to oil lately and also to take out any excess dirt or anything that's been left behind by the oil cleanser. I am a big fan of double cleansing. I really love a clean feel on my skin. But the good thing about the CeraVe cleanser is that it is not drying, not stripping of your skin's natural oils or moisture. This also contains niacinamide, some ceramides, and hyaluronic acid, which makes sure that your skin is hydrated. So I think I've mentioned it in this channel before that I have been suffering from adult acne for the past couple of years. Growing up, I've always had perfect skin. However, towards my late 20s, something happened, a couple of factors uh, are to be blamed, but I suddenly started having cystic acne on my face. And this was something that, it, it was a journey. And until last year, I decided to try some products that were actually helpful in keeping things under control. And the number one product on that list, I have to say, is the A313 Retinol Pomade. This is the product that replaced the Abivon Cream, which French women swear by, and it's also basically a retinol pomade. And it kept them looking fresh all the time and helped them like not age too quickly. So this is what replaced it. And normally you can buy this in some of the pharmacies in France. And from here in Berlin, I could buy it online. So this has been a lifesaver. I use this almost every night. I do not use this when I'm using another chemical exfoliant that I will leave on my face. But yes, almost every night this has been very, very helpful to me. I've been using this since May of last year and I still have quite a lot in this. Too. so this one so I actually want to make a video discussing my acne journey and that will be coming in the next couple of months or so because I want to be able to make sure that the products and you know the methods that I used and will recommend to you actually work so do watch out for that so I stopped using eye cream for a while until this was sent to me recently. This is the Madeline and Goods Revitalizing Eye Cream. And what I love about this product is that it is perfume free. And it just leaves the skin around my eyes so hydrated and moisturized without giving me any milia because most of the hydrating and moisturizing eye creams before would give me like these white dots around my eyes and they are not pretty. So this is an eye cream that you should go for if you're a Amelia former like me. 
If you're having a zit, I have two gels to recommend. The first one is the Mamond AC Balance Spot Serum. This is a Korean brand. And if you're living somewhere where this is not available in brick and mortar stores, then you can get this at theestyle.com. I'm gonna leave a link down below for this. And if you're living in Germany, this is something that I can highly recommend. This is just coming from one of the drugstores here called DM. And this is from their house brand, uh, the Balea Hautrai Anti-Pickle SOS Gel. This has salicylic acid and this will dry out your pimple by the next day. So I put this at night and when I wake up in the morning, it's usually dry. This one is more balancing and this one is more drying. So when you're having that pimple and when that zit already has that white head, like it's ready to pop, put a cross rx pimple patch on that thing because this will make sure that that pimple is gone by the next day like when you peel out the sticker like you will see all the contents of your pimple have transferred there it's kind of gross but this works for the body i have three products for you and the first one is the ipsum best skin body oil this is the patchouli rose scent uh bottle there's another one that comes in a white bottle which is more citrusy but this one I've been using a lot for winter because when the Indie Beauty Expo happened and this was given to me, I remember being impressed by the founder's story that I tried it right away and I really liked it. However, I said that I will save it for winter because that's when my skin really needs the moisture the most because here in Berlin, the air can be very dry and it's really, really bad when winter rolls around. So I started using this back in autumn and I'm still using it now and I am just really happy with the results. My skin is not itching or drying out. And yeah, it just feels moisturized and healthy. And the moisture lasts for over 24 hours. So this is something that I also highly recommend. So for soaps, I'm currently using these babies from Stoa Skin. It is a brand from the Philippines founded by my friend Army. And I'm not just saying this because we're friends, but her products are amazing. So she uses natural ingredients which she sources from farmers who are from some of the most rural areas in the Philippines. So when you buy a soap, you're also helping these farmers like make a living. And this is something that I really love about what she's currently doing. For perfume, my current favorite is the Maline and Dutz Leather. Yes, this is the same brand as the eye cream that I am also using because they are like an all over skin body brand and I really love this scent and I'm not the only one apparently because when I'm walking along the street like sometimes people would just come up to me and ask me what my perfume is and it has also happened in restaurants a couple of times waitresses would come up to me and ask me what scent I'm wearing because they just love it so much so this one has muted floral notes but is woody and so it has that vintage scent to it but it's somehow modern, like it fits a modern lifestyle. Okay, so now we're moving on to makeup and I know a lot of you are excited for this, especially for the lipsticks, because every time I post something on like Insta stories, somebody would definitely ask me, hey, what lipstick are you wearing? So I will be showing you some of the lipsticks that I have been reaching out for a lot the past couple of months. So let's get started. For primer, I've been reaching for the Elf Poreless Putty Primer a lot and this product just leaves your skin looking so flawless and make sure that your makeup stays on for much longer and it keeps shine at bay which is amazing especially if you're going to these different events or if you're going to be standing in places where there's like very strong lighting this one would be such a good addition to your makeup kit for foundation i highly recommend the body shop matte clay skin clarifying foundation for people who are having breakouts and would like to cover them because this foundation has pretty good coverage and it also has tea tree among its ingredients which as we all know is helpful in fighting against zits next is the bare minerals bare pro performance wear liquid foundation this one also provides really good coverage without being mean to your skin so that's something that i love about this brand so the next product should come as no surprise because i've worked in tv for how many years i've always been in media i've always been going in front of a camera and i go to a lot of events where there are usually big lights and right now i'm filming at home with some lighting equipment and of course i need a really hard working setting powder in my life and it comes as no surprise that my favorite comes from laura mercier 
and this is their translucent setting powder and I actually finished my big pot last November so I've been using my travel size which was sent to me as part of a PR kit last November so I'm happy that this was there I have yet to get a big one soon nothing actually compares so far I have yet to see another setting powder that works as hard as this one so can't live without this so when my friend Karen brought back that cleanser that I was talking about earlier I also asked her to get me the one day tattoo real lasting eyeliner from K palette the thing about this eyeliner is that it has the best tip so aside from the really good formula that totally lasts you for over a day that tip is so skinny that it makes it so easy to make a wing there's also like the right amount of resistance for when lining your eyes and you really need a perfect wing after all because if there's one thing that needs to be perfect when it comes to your makeup that is your eyeliner also your brows but if you're going for a winged eyeliner look better make it perfect honey so this is the way to go for my lashes my current favorite is the sapo new paradigm vegan mascara in black so this product i also discovered at the indie beauty expo last year also met the founder who talked to me into trying this out because normally i'm not big on vegan makeup products just because they don't last as long and i appreciate products that stay on my face without having to retouch especially since i'm always on the go but this mascara even though it's not waterproof it stays on until I decide to remove my makeup with an oil cleanser so this is something that I'm very happy about and it separates my lashes really well it looks natural but also long black and thick so it just looks a lot more lush up in here so yeah really recommend this this is available in Germany in some of the stores I will also put a link down below for this one and the last two products for the eyes are from Laura Mercier these are their caviar eye sticks and these are eyeshadows that come in pen form so these are the travel sizes the normal size caviar sticks are a lot longer but these are the ones that fit so nicely in your makeup bag especially if you're traveling and i love them because of course when we're going out of town when we're uh, packing our stuff of course i want to have more space for my other things and eye brushes are just so bulky sometimes especially since you need like a couple like around three or four to make a good eyeshadow look but with these caviar sticks all you need are your fingers so I just use them as a pen all over my lid and I use my fingers to blend them out they blend like a dream the formula is so creamy but once they dry they stay put and finally here we go with the lip products I have a couple not a couple I have quite a number here and this is already the pared down version so please bear with me first these two liquid lipsticks from banana beauty i think they are a german brand this was just given to me quite recently but i will confirm that and put some text here and more information in the description box about them because these are pretty new with me but i am already in love with these two colors this one is damn girl and this is Ula Licious. so they are very comfortable on the lips they are not that drying and the colors are buildable so it comes on a little bit sheer but you can build up the color using these lipsticks and what i do is i usually use them together so the lip color that i'm wearing now is actually a combination of these two shades so and of course the fenty beauty uncuffed lipstick this was a gift to me on my birthday this year and i just have to say that this is such a good liquid lip it lasts you forever even after eating something oily it just stays on i love the applicator it just glides smoothly on your lips and it gets to the corners and rounded areas so this one is something that just blew me away rihanna did such a good job with her beauty line and this i think is my favorite product from her along with the lip gloss that goes with anyone i think this has been my most worn liquid lip since autumn and this is nars save the queen and it is such a gorgeous cool toned pinky nude that i can just wear it from day to night and this is something that 
I know I will keep on repurchasing just because of how beautiful the color goes on the lips and since it's cool toned it widens your teeth and if you have pink undertones it just goes so well with your skin. I do love supporting products from the Philippines and of course there are going to be some Sunny's face lipsticks in this video. However, they're not just here just because they're Filipino but because they are really good. The formula is amazing. They are matte but they are very comfortable on your lips as well. So I have two shades here. This is Girl Crush. A very beautiful pink, like a little bit brick-ish uh, nude and I love it on my lips so much. It just looks rather fresh uh, when I'm wearing it. So this one, one of my favorite shades from them. And this one is from the Nudist collection. So we had a friend, Paula, who was coming over from the Philippines uh, last December and we asked her to buy some of the Nudist lipsticks for us. And out of all the shades that I asked, for her to get for me this is my favorite this is a baby spice and it's a cool toned nude and a little bit mauvey i think you're seeing a bit of a pattern here i do love pinkish mauves on my lips and this one is one of the colors that i really really enjoy wearing and lastly i cannot talk about lipsticks without talking about charlotte tilbury and i know i own a couple of shades from them and i talk about pillow talk a lot but when it comes to being the most used it has to be Bond Girl. This is a beautiful red that is so wearable even during the daytime and at night. So this is a lipstick that I would normally go for. I would also repurchase this. It's almost gone, so there's no surprise there. This has got to be my favorite shade for the past year. No, two years now. I used to wear a lot of reds. Uh, back when I was still working in Manila, I would wear Russian red a lot from MAC, which is such a bright and you know intimidating type of red but now i think as i get older i'm going for more like friendlier shades and bond girl is kind of like my russian red but in a friendlier and more wearable version so a little less intimidating a little more approachable kind of red all right so that's it for all the products that i've been reaching for the most skincare wise and also for makeup I hope you enjoyed watching and that you found something that might be of interest to you. I swear these are the products that I feel are so worth the money and that you will get a lot of use out of. So with that said, I'm not going to make this outro very long, but I hope to see you in the next videos. With that said, thanks so much for watching. See you again soon. Bye!